www.newtoboss.com. This is again Ty. Uh, I just created a video earlier on how you can edit uh, videos on Adobe CS6. I mean Adobe Premiere CS6, and this was the sample video that I created. But uh, that video was actually a little bit long. It's uh, a basic editing on Adobe Premiere that started off from creating watermarks. Uh, creating overlays and uh, editing audio but I was thinking that there are people in there who knows how to edit already but are having troubles a little bit in outputting the video for YouTube so this video specifically I'm assuming that you already created a video output file like this and it's just ready for export again if you are not on this part yet if you would want to know how to create or edit videos for YouTube or for some others you can check out the other video tutorial that we have it's on the description link below but if you manage to have all the elements set already but you're just having troubles with is outputting that for YouTube here's how you want to do it let's try again let's play that this was the video file and what you want to do with this is you just click on file right here again you don't enter if you enter it's gonna do that I mean it's going to render the video on the setting that has been preset for uh, AVI if I'm not mistaken it's it's going to do it like that but basically if you want to create a video for something else like for tablets or for YouTube you want to use H.264 for uh, the compression and an MP4 container so what you do from there you click on file right here and click on export and you have something that says media right here. I'm sorry. You have to click this part, by the way. Click on home. You have to be sure that you're on this. Uh, you're on your timeline. I mean, your timeline should be highlighted. It's got a yellow border right there. Click on file again and go to export and click on media. Let me repeat that if you uh, haven't. If it's a little fast. Export, media. You got H264 got a lot of options right there sometimes it's on AVI the thing with here's your preview by the way the thing with H2 I mean with AVI you got this border black borders right on top and at the bottom part so you don't want to have that why if you're using a video for HD 1080p or 720p for YouTube this is a little squarish right so you lose that uh, 16 is to 9 ratio for the video. So what you do is you change this to something that says H.264 and if you're going to notice on the left side you have no borders anymore. And this is your preview. You can move that a little bit. It's going to render that for you. And if it's not moving, uh, I mean if it's a little bit laggy, you might want to add RAM or use a different computer with a f uh, faster system. Again, H.264 preset you got options for uh, Android devices but again you get a lot from here what you just want to do is to output this for YouTube so click on the arrow right here then look for something that says you got Vimeo if you want to upload that there YouTube the video was created using the 23.9 frame rate so YouTube HD 720p 23.976 this is the settings for the video that I have in here. If you're using 1080p, you can make use of 1080p right here, 29.97 or HD 1080p 25. Again, this is 20, uh, 720p 23.9. So click on that, and it's going to preset everything for you. Be sure to export video is checked and export audio is checked. Then check on that. 23.9 for the frame rate, and it's going to run for variable bit rate uh, to pass. It's going to duplicate the pass there, so uh, it's could it should be compressed uh, for a target bit rate of only five here, five here. But if you drag that on the right side, it should say custom here, and everything would be a little larger. This is your estimated file size. It's going to be 7 MB. All right, take a look at here. If you move that, if you move here it's going to change for the MB rate and here would say custom it's not for YouTube anymore right it's going to be custom the problem here sometimes is um, YouTube cannot 
play your file anymore. It cannot decompress that. If you would notice there are videos on YouTube that wouldn't play at times, but they uploaded that, the uploader was able to play that on their PC. But when they upload that, that's going to be their problem. The reason I know that because I started off like that. I've had videos uploaded running at 30 frames and I uh, for the reason I would want all the pixel I mean pixel perfect for YouTube I dragged everything here so I did a little research and found out that I should make use of these settings right here so I'm also sharing that to you again H264 go back a little bit and go back to something that says YouTube here 23 frames point something export right there at the bottom just click on that let's go to encode your video and export that for um for youtube so from there let's wait uh, a little bit though and i'm going to show you that 61 percent uh, it's just going to run fast because this is just a short video and again if you have a better system you have a faster processor and a lot of RAM then everything would be very very fast so again what you do is you save that so you don't want to lose your project then open your folder path and it's in there so play. again um, if you don't know how to start off with editing on Adobe Premiere CS6 we have a separate tutorial for that so this video is only intended on how you can output your video specifically for YouTube if this would somehow help you then I'll be glad Please do subscribe on our channel and do visit our website. Again, www.newtoboss.com. This is Ty. Thank you so much for watching.